Welcome everyone, this is Acid Roots and we've got a cartoonish adventure for you and really I think a lot of people just need to take a load off so this would be a good game to just kind of feed into. Now really, the reason why I'm doing Tiny Toons is because it's a great It's it's whimsical, and it's just out of the ordinary to do something. You know, most people, by the time you're my age, are thinking of things like Steam, and you're thinking of things like Doom, and just a bunch of PC games, and it's like, do something random. You know, that's kind of, I don't really see... A problem with that and you should want to take on that practice a little bit trust me so I've never played this game never thought of playing this game and never even crossed my mind to try it until about a couple days ago I picked up the Game Boy Game Shark and then I saw this game for five or I thought it was six or seven dollars and turned out to be six dollars. So I said, screw it, this will be a great one to add to my catalog. Now, as a bonus, I'm going to do this game without cheats. Now, obviously, I tried that and failed, so I'm not going to do that next time. This is just a little intro to show you that I am not a skilled gamer. I can't beat Looney Tunes. You know, I'm definitely not going to be able to beat Contra or Castlevania. So, welcome to Tiny Tunes, and this is based on the show. And you've got three playable characters to choose from. They are... Buster, Plucky, and Hampton. So, all of these guys, I like this series because they are distinguished characters, and I'd say that sometimes it feels as if, you know, the, I mean, the characters jump off the page, and I'm liking that because the reason why it's interesting is just because usually when you speak first start a video game there's not three playable characters so that's you know obviously these guys are based off of Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Porky Pig so that's their incarnations and really it works it's it's recognizable so like I said I haven't really touched this game and I think the tra la la esque type thing that you're gonna have is gonna be like kind of repet <laughs> repetitive, repetuous, however you say it. But that's okay, you know. For adults, this really is gonna stretch your patience. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do the the ability and I'm gonna keep this interesting and stuff and so what I shall do so as far as what I think of this series you know these these types of shows they're, they're just nutty you know that's the thing about it is I don't really know the antics that these characters get into but you have to realize that most of the time these animated series are based on real life situations like these I remember these characters they go to school and that I mean it just is you'd think one of their problems would be just you know having insomnia or something I, I know probably animated series today are trying to I mean because satire is so important. I mean, even South Park does it. You know, it, they just put it in there left and right. 
but yeah so you're just gonna find a lot of that but I'm thinking I'm gonna like this game that's kind of something that I'm hoping anyways I actually watched an LP of this not too long ago and I'm not gonna do the bonus stuff just because I don't really need extra lives and you shouldn't be wanting to just watch the bonuses anyways but so cartoons 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 I picked up Family Guy seasons 1 and 2 and you know those are pretty much certified bona fide cults these days I mean, you gotta keep in mind, Family Guy is getting to the point where that was 20 years ago. Seth MacFarlane is in his 40s, and, you know, he's been around, he, he was in college about 20 years ago, coming up with the plot for this. I actually read his biography, and it said, you know, he was trying to make a series, and he had something in 1997. He, like, wanted to work with Brian the dog, but just didn't pan out but really I mean as far as the show itself goes you know those early seasons are they're just like the Simpsons really it, it just was like wildfire but don't be afraid you know that, that's the thing you know I'm kind of being pensive about talking about this show don't be afraid to watch, go out and watch this show or something. I mean, obviously, it's sugary, it's real candy coated. I mean, it just is. A, it's Looney Tunes in the 1990s, but there just is a ton of extra shit, and you know, people got have characters and. I mean, that's usually what they're there. I mean, it's just like the Muppets. You know, the Muppets, there's a television show. They came back. Kermit is a big meme. You know, everyone likes Kermit the Frog. So, it's the same thing today. I mean, I would like to see a Ninja Turtles one. I'd like to say them, hear them say, like, damn or something like that. You know, just kick it up to age 16, 17, as opposed to 8 and 9. But then again, I'm just more of action-esque for that sort of thing. I like anime, of course, so... Which I do, you know. I'm just kind of evolved. So this one's going to be a little bit longer, because I just tried to beat stage 1 and die. So... That's kind of how it goes, so we're, you're going to be seeing more of this. Alright, subscribe for more fun.